unleaded gasoline, pediatric growth charts to track children's physical development, fortified foods to prevent birth defects. These are just three examples of how the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, or NHANES, has made an impact on America's health. And it is communities like yours that help make it possible. San Francisco. San Francisco County, next stop. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare man. I breathe the mountain air, man. I travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Madawa, La Paloma, Bangor, Baltimore, Salvador, Amarillo, Tocopilla, Barranquilla, and Padilla. I'm a killer. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. NHANES is the only national health survey that collects information based on actual physical exams. Since 1960, NHANES has been on the road, traveling to hundreds of communities across the country from coast to coast, conducting examinations of more than 100,000 Americans in these mobile examination centers. Beginning in 1999, NHANES became a continuous operation and travels to an estimated 15 counties and examines approximately 5,000 Americans each year. The exams are performed by a team of health professionals with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The staff includes a physician, dentist, nurse, nutritionist, and skilled lab technicians. Prior to the exams, participants are screened through household interviews, during which participants are asked detailed questions about their health and eating habits. Participants who are invited to take the examination are reimbursed up to $100 apiece. NHANES collects data on a cross-section of Americans but also focuses on specific groups of interest, such as pregnant women, adolescents, and the elderly. The men, women, and children who participate in NHANES are taking an important, proactive step in monitoring and improving their own health, while at the same time performing a great service for their country. Much of the country's health policy is based on health data, and NHANES serves as a main resource for the kind of clinical data used by policymakers. For example, the information gathered from NHANES dietary interviews, used in concert with cardiovascular data from NHANES physical exams, helps public health professionals understand some of the underlying reasons why heart disease mortality has fallen more than 50% since the survey began over four decades ago. In the late 1970s, NHANES data showed a disturbing percentage of Americans had high levels of lead in their blood. In response to this mounting health crisis, Congress passed legislation to get the lead out by making the switch to unleaded gasoline and paint. And by the early 1990s, the problem was for the most part under control. Participants who undergo the full exam will have their eyes and ears tested. This allows us to learn how many Americans have diabetes or glaucoma, as well as what percentage have hearing impairments. They will have their blood pressure checked for hypertension. They will also have their blood screened for high cholesterol and other conditions.
They will have their bone density measured using state-of-the-art body scan technology, helping health professionals learn more about how many adults suffer from osteoporosis. They will be measured to see if they are at a healthy weight. Many will undergo a dental exam to determine their oral health status. Many others will be interviewed in great detail about their diet and other health behaviors. They will also be given a fitness test, which includes a vigorous walk on the treadmill. Of all the communities in all the states across the country, why did CDC select this one? The answer is highly technical. Each community is selected using census population estimates. And as a result, one community represents dozens of similar communities across the country. This same principle applies to the actual participants. Each individual is selected to represent thousands of individuals of similar age, gender, and race and ethnicity. Together, these individuals and these communities provide an accurate snapshot of the nation's health. We're pleased that San Francisco will play a major role in the upcoming NHANES. Your assistance and support during the next few months are invaluable to us, and we look forward to working with you. This is an opportunity for the people of San Francisco to represent America in a major study with far-reaching implications for the future. And your participation is critical to our efforts to improve the health of all Americans.